we are live. So welcome to I Am Groot. I'm gonna call it season one, episode one through five, thoughts and reaction video. So if you put in the tremendous effort it takes to ignore all evidence to the contrary, you might have correctly guessed that I like to challenge myself and try to do new things on this channel. So we're doing a reaction video. Part of it is that these are so short. Part of it is that unlike many of the other thoughts videos I do for shows, I don't have that much to say that isn't just straight reaction. So I, yes, I realize a lot of people would do the picture in picture thing. I'm not going to do that because I am scared witless of copyright claims. So what I'll do is I will say exactly when I click start on it and the name of the individual ones so you can, you know, put it on and you can do the picture in picture thing if you want. I'll try to make these verbal so that if you just have me on in the background and watch the episode without picture in picture, it'll still be entertaining. So, we are going to start with the first one. So, this is Group's First Steps. Oh, and I should note, this is the second time I watch these. It is not a... Yeah, it's not technically speaking the, the first reaction I have to it. And... So, if you are ready, Groot's first step, clicking start now. So right away I love that Groot fast forwards the Marvel logos, because he's kind of impatient, you know, he's he doesn't have that grand of an attention span yet. And he falls over, of course. So, yeah, this is clearly the very end of the, um, the first Guardians movie, because he's still in the, in the pot. And robots are buffing him, which he seems to like. You know, it it's, it's probably is pleasant for the... And he's eating the, the cheese balls, because he loves snacks, you know. And he gets replaced by this other plant, and he is not having it. This is just unacceptable. And he's cold, so he wears the blanket, but then they take the blanket for the other. I love it. And the, and they change the music to music he really can't stand. So he tries to throw Yarrow Root. Does not work. Bounces right back. But we see that he is able to elongate his limbs even at this very young age. You know, even right so soon after regenerating, I mean. And he tries yanking the plant. Does not work. <laughs> he ends up tangled in his own limbs. It's a very classic cartoon setup that you have one character that's really annoyed of another character. You know, there was this old short where Donald Duck was furious of this bird that kept ruining other birds singing. So he swings over and punches it. Very Shang-Chi. And unlike Shang-Chi, he is not... He refuses to keep going until he eventually no longer hurts. And we get the green goop that just tangles Groot and... <laughs> he did succeed in knocking the plant off, but he also fell off himself. Love the detail on the dirt. It's photorealistic. And the music. I've, I want to say this is like 2001 Space Odyssey. And he sticks his limbs out and is excited to realize. And falls over because he's a baby. He can't walk yet. But he's going to try again. Uh, 
I love how excited he is to try to walk. Like, big smile on his face. And it works. And he walks. He gets a hang of it pretty quickly, honestly. And he runs over to the other plant. And he's, you know, he won. He knocked it off. But he does start feeling a little bad. So, wraps the blanket around. Eats cheese balls and offers cheese balls. <laughs> sticks it right up in the... Knocks away the robot so they can have some private time looking into the stars, which probably is a very pleasant experience. You know, you might not be surprised to learn that I have not been on a spaceship, but I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's a, it's a very calming, soothing kind of experience. So, I realize now, I didn't mention it before, I am not going to do any commentary for the end credits because, you know, don't get me wrong, I do think you should watch them at least once because there's that fun little, ah, uh, yeah, the, it, it mentions, you know, no, this and this were harmed in the making of this video, which is especially great for the, the fifth one. If you're only going to do one of them, the fifth one is the bar for, bar, blah, by far the funniest. But that brings us to the second one. Now, this is the one called The Little Guy. So I'm going to click start right now. So yeah, not a ton to say about this first few seconds, because it's, you know, they, they do the same intro sequence for each of these. I do appreciate that the remote looks like ours, but it's got these weird buttons. The, the, the buttons are marked weird. I forget, was it Cree or something? And we're on a very desert-like planet with some trees and... Groot is building a treehouse. <laughs> at, yeah, at first he just builds like a few twigs, and then five minutes later he's built an entire treehouse. I really love the X minutes later. I think they only do it in this episode, but they it's great. They get a lot of stuff out of it. And this anteater looking thing starts licking at the <laughs> and yeah it is it has absolutely no respect for his property clearly honestly partially just looks curious it doesn't look like it's trying to hurt him although now that it has the treehouse to itself it's happy and it gets torn out of the sky by an alien eagle I love the yelling in frustration. I would pay money to see the recording of Vin Diesel in the voice recording booth just doing the, the yelling in frustration. And he lifts a rock and finds, I want to say they're called Gruns. And we get some music to denote. And they're just, they're, they're hoping that he'll provide some food, but even him just saying, <laughs> you know, blows them away and he's, he steps in place and it knocks them over. He gets a toothpick out of one of their things and flicks it back at them. So they're like, yeah, and they start attacking him at first. It's just this, you know, they're throwing rocks and he blows at them. <laughs> he's loving it. He's excited, you know. And they start firing lasers, which is not something he's okay with. And the aerial vehicles firing at him. And just, yeah. <laughs> Man, the tables turn quickly here. He farts out a leaf, which they use as food. And they're so happy about this, you know. There's a lot of turns in this episode. One of them is just chowing down with this old grandmother's crying from happiness, from having all this food. And so he's like, oh, I can give you more leaves. And he runs a little too far, steps in them, crushes them. And he just covers with the rock again and just walks away hoping nobody noticed. Which was very, like... That's a very South Park reaction, but 
there were a couple still left alive down there, but he, yeah, he didn't stay around to check, which you can understand as a, yeah. Who among us haven't accidentally committed some genocide of tiny creatures? And that brings us to the third. This is Groot's Pursuit. Perhaps of some fruit, some fruit. And I am clicking start now. It's a repeated gag, but I like the gag of him fast forwarding through because almost all of these things do open with the Marvel Studios logo, you know, have for quite some years now. And the fact that Groot breaks the fourth wall, looks directly at us, the at the camera. And Groot wakes up in the Ravager's ship. And he's got little pajamas on. He's got a, a glass of water by the bed. Very... I, I suppose it's not only children who do that, but that is... Yeah. And he gets out one of those exercise clocks as a light... So I guess the, the broken glass canister, was that maybe where the alien started? Or did it knock over? I guess we don't know for sure, but yeah. And he checks the, the toilet because, you know, who knows, which is very James Sunderland of him. And he takes the time to go to the bathroom and reading the Cree version of Everybody Poops. And he's got a little toilet paper on his shoe. as Yeah. And he grabs the... I forget if they're called Babushka or Matryoshka, but one of those Russian dolls. Nice to see aliens have those too. And some yarrow root, which is... I, th I think it's yarrow. Wait, is that yarrow? Anyway, a fruit. And apparently that's James Gunn doing the voice for the 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 exercise watch. And Groot follows the noise again and finally actually finds the alien the water alien which mimics his appearance and voice very convincingly. And this is one of the times where we know that he actually does mean, I am Groot. It's not just, and they, they start dancing salsa. I just love, like a dance-off is already funny, but it's so aggressive. Like Groot's, fa ah, and there, there he starts smiling. But at first, like, his face looks like he's doing something truly, like, like, if you just saw the face and not what he was doing, you'd think he was, like, about to attack or something. And the alien does the moves, but it accidentally reveals its cell. And they dance. But Groot lures it into the airlock and presses it and does a final I am Groot because there's only one Groot. And we wouldn't have it any other way. And I like that the the I Am Groot title at the end of each episode, like it's it's like a cave painting, you know. I don't know exactly what the green where you know where he got that and where he. I figure he probably painted it on the inside of the spaceship or something, but yeah. Cave painting, and he, there's a little self-portrait. There's some leaves. Quite like that. Which brings us to the penultimate. Groot takes a bath, which I am going to start in just a few seconds. Now.
And once again, the fast forwarding. And we're in this, you know, very lush forest planet. And Groot finds some mud. He likes the flavor of it. He likes the feel of it between his toes, if he had toes. So he turns it into a jacuzzi. <laughs> Blowing some bubbles and... Squeezing some insect juice out for, I guess that's like a bath bomb or whatever they're called, and some fruits in for, yeah. And he rubs the mud all over himself. And he gets some, <laughs> they look exactly like, um, ah, what are those called in English? Yeah, I forget, but the, there's a earth fruit or vegetable, something like that, which, and we see that he grew a bunch of leaves, which at first he panics at. <laughs> but then he actually, you know, and it, he has trouble walking because of it. But then he sees his reflection and kind of likes it. likes it a lot and so he uses he turns his fingers into scissors and gives himself various looks covering his entire face and head in it and does a dolphin look does a handlebar mustache tough guy look and uh yeah makes a horse body so he's got like a <laughs> gets himself into a dress which i guess means that he's <laughs> yeah and he gets attacked by the bird yeah i i don't know i guess we don't know exactly how he identifies if if he identifies as a as male or female or non-binary, but yeah, I I approve. I I really like this, you know. So yeah, it's, you know, if if girls or young women want to see themselves as Groot, they they now have full permission. He wore a dress. He, you know, the his his body language was very feminine. But yeah, no more mud. He can't he can't put it on anymore. And the, the bird is loving it, so he shaves it and wears it as, as like a fur, yeah. <laughs> and now it's shivering in, you know, because of the cold. So, yeah. And that brings us to the very last so. It is called Magnum Opus, and I am pressing start. Now, and <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> they do, of course, make sure we do see the Marvel Studios logo at the end of the opening sequence so no one is unsure of where to buy the toys or what to look for when buying the toys, whatever. And we see that he grabbed the backpack that Peter wore when he was alien abducted, and he <laughs> he grabs an ALF comic, which is apparently an actual Marvel comic from the time, cuts some hairs off Rocket's tail, and... I guess there's supposed to be someone in that shower, but they're just moving so slow, I, I can't make them out. He grabs the soap, tries to surf on it somewhat successfully. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he does end, end up doing a great job surfing, and he's carrying a bunch of stuff. Drops in harbulary battery. 
and yeah, so he that is an awful thing to do a, to a comic book, but I do otherwise approve. He gets out some. <laughs> yeah, he uses the the soap and the hair, and he uses the the rocket boots as a welding torch, and he broke some glasses in half to cover his eyes, and he puts a bomb because he wants glitter. So he bombs one of the one of the panels from the computer. To be fair, it was already broken, but. If any six-year-olds are watching this, please don't set off explosives in your home without your parents there. They'll know what to do. Seriously, though, if your parents are setting off explosives in your home, wear safety goggles. And the, yeah, Rocket makes an appearance. And he's legitimately scared that Groot is dead. How did you get the walls wet and on fire? That's a really good question. And it actually only raises more questions if you... <laughs> and Drax won't shut up about the soap. I can believe that. <laughs> Points for honesty. He, he immediately comes out saying that a bomb did go off. And I like that Rocket is actually... Kind of moved by the... The he's gonna put it up on the fridge, frame the picture, and it's the we are group moment from the first movie. <laughs> and Groot saves Rocket from the new explosion that makes the the hole bigger, and it's, you know they're apparently like the hull must be slightly broken at this point for because because that's like you know yeah that would that would be the vacuum of space trying to yank rocket out maybe to join the the water alien who i'm pretty sure is still dancing in space and you know floating past the the xenomorph the xenomorph queen and yeah just blow him out in airlock someone else will take care of it Wow, that's a that's an old school reference. Anyway, those are all five episodes. I guess I will just very briefly. I did take some notes before I decided to make it a reaction video. So I'm just really quickly going to see if there's anything that I wrote that I didn't already say in the... Yeah, I think I already mentioned that, you know, in, in the second one, in, in The Little Guy, I really love that they do the 37 minutes, 37 minutes later gag, and he's still just, you know, being frustrated and yelling after the treehouse breaks, and let's see, I really appreciate that, like, it's child-friendly, the, the, it, it says that you could show this to anyone over the age of six, Please do not show anyone who is less than 13 years old any MCU movie, though. But yeah, you know, if if the they might just like Baby Groot without knowing the context and such, you know, I, I figure this is probably for like people who are fans of the MCU and have children to sit and watch together, and the parents can explain the the things that the the children don't understand. But yeah, in in Groot's pursuit. It's basically a horror movie, you know, it's it's a child-friendly horror movie, it's like a Halloween town kind of thing, you know, but yeah, it's a child-friendly horror movie, it, 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 you know, you're, you have all, you have this mystery, who's going on, who's making this noise, and it's all dark, and, and quiet other than the noise, you know, there's jokes, but it's horror, overall, and let's see, the... Yeah, I appreciate you know the the dance off. I mean, he got that idea from Quill, you know. So so that's yeah, you know he he does actually think of them as his family, and he he learns from the various ones and such. And let's see. Yeah, remind me never to dance with Groot. 
because you might end up getting blown out an airlock. I, I kind of would like to see the water creature show up. I mean, how done are they with Guardians 3? I guess it's possible it's already in there. They might have figured that it would be popular. And let's see. I guess that is pretty much everything I played. The yeah, I like that, you know. The explosion was bigger than Groot had in anticipated, so he duct tapes the hole. You know, he doesn't stop and say, this is something I can't deal with. I better go wake up one of the other ones and apologize later. No, he just he uses duct tape, because duct tape fixes everything, including ducks. And let's yeah, I really like the rocket. Like, he starts out as, like, really furious. You know, at first he's scared. Is Groot okay? Groot's okay. And then he starts getting angry about the, you know, the bomb and the, you know, he picks up the... Th I didn't know he needed reading glasses. I d have we seen that before? Anyway, you know, he's like, it's better be a... Better be a written apology. But, yeah, the... Do not let Groot... At least baby group near explosives. But yeah, the we are group means that he does have some memories of before he regenerated. You know, which is something that they've kind of gone back and forth on. Does does group remember everything? Does group remember some things? You know, but yeah, clearly he does remember at least some things. And like he put in a lot of effort, so it must still mean a lot to him that he saved them. It's not just like this, you know, there's a lot of science fiction where if the memory is not the person's own memory, they can't really cope with it kind of thing. But yeah, clearly it, he considers it his own memory. So yeah, absolutely love that. I guess that is it for the, I, I'm looking forward to, apparently there's going to be it's probably going to be like a year from now, but there apparently will be more of them, and that's also why I'm not doing a review yet. But yeah, really love that, really love this. Uh, I guess if you really enjoyed this, I don't see myself doing a reaction video for more than like, you know, shorts, maybe trailers or something, but yeah, like if you if there's stuff you'd like me to do reaction videos for, you know, post in the comments. Worst case scenario is I'll say no. You know, <clears throat> you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Please don't actually shoot me. The, the, uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I like the, you know, I know some people are going to be cynical about it. I kind of like that they are doing stuff that is specifically for children in, in, that's, you know, I don't, I don't know if this is considered canon. I, I guess it probably doesn't really make any difference either way. But yeah, you know, the I, I thought it was nice, you know, and the I was a little surprised by the edgier jokes, like how he accidentally steps on this advanced people. Like, you know, these aren't like ants or something. Not, not you know, don't don't abuse any animal regardless. I mean, okay, yeah, if there's an insect in your house, you have to deal with it, obviously. But, although if it's a spider, just get it on some, some tissue paper and throw it out the window or something. But yeah, the that was an advanced species, you know, and they were actually advancing extremely quickly, which I, I want to say it was Eric Voss who pointed out, from, from New Rockstars, who pointed out that it's like that Simpsons episode, and also there's like a, ah, people hate when I mistake Twilight Zone for Outer Limits. It's one of those. Planet X, maybe, or some. Wait, no. X Planet X, that was a different thing, wasn't it? And anyway, but yeah. You know, it's a it's a it's a fun concept, but it's slightly messed up when it's you know for ages six and I I don't know. I guess if you you know if you're watching it with a six year old and they start getting upset, just tell them, no no no, they all survive. We see some of them have survived. They all survived, just Groot didn't know that, and don't worry, he'll find out later. 
you know, one of them will track him down, tell him we're all okay, thanks for the leaves, don't feel bad about the 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 misstep, as it were. That is it for this one. So I hope you enjoyed watching as I enjoyed watching and recording, and I'll catch you next time.